So we're not actually going to do anything really that new. We're not introducing any new techniques or anything in this video, but there's a few little uh, uh, interesting ways of how we're going to how we're going to approach this problem of of taking someone else's material or someone sorry someone else's shader and working with it um, and and adding this functionality to it. Okay, so uh, the first thing the first thing we should do is we should have a look at what we're working with. So we go into park, go to materials. Oh wow. He's only using, or she, is only using two different materials. That makes our lives very easy. All we got to do now is look at what kind of shaders they're working with. Okay, standard specular. That's cool. That's cool. And just a standard specular. Now, it looks like, let's see if I can figure out. Let's see, aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. If I change this, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, looks like that's the... Uh, that's the old, that's the old uh, uh, street lamp, street lamp shader. Okay, so it's a different shader for the street lamps and a different one for the for the park. That's great. That's fine. Um, and and how we're gonna how we can do this is we can look at this. Okay, standard shader. Okay, standard specular. We can actually we can get to these Unity shaders. We're gonna need to download them because they come kind of like as a part of the Unity system that we, we're not actually able to get to uh, as is. So how we can do this, and I'll leave a link to it, is we go to the Unity download archive, and there they've really nicely just le left us a whole bunch of whole bunch of things that we can we can download. We can go to the most recent version and just go to built-in shaders, and we can download that. It'll pop up in our downloads folder. Mm, we can unzip it, and now we can search. So we can say, for example, I can search for the standard shader, right? I go standard dot shader and have a look in downloads. Standard shader, that's the one. All right, that's the one we want. Okay, so I can I can copy that, and see if this works. Otherwise, I can I can also drag it uh, and I'll put that in my shaders folder. No, it wants me to drag it. That's cool. I can drag it in. Now the the other the other shader we're going to want is also the standard specular shader, and so we'll just search, search that up. Uh, standard specular. Uh, let's have a look. I, I will note that so, that some of them have kind of like slightly different than you might expect names. Um, so yeah, just just may, maybe even want to like depending on what you're looking for, like just have a look through all the shaders that are there, or see see if you can just like uh, get the keywords or something. Right off the bat, I'm going to rename them. Okay, so I'm going to call this one specular specular stencil filter will be will be explicit specular stencil filter. Okay, and now the standard standard stencil filter. Okay, let's 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 open these up and have have a look have a look at what we're what we're working with. All right, lots of stuff apparently. That's all right. That's fine. Okay, so so first if off the bat, we can have a look at. Let's see if I got these. Yeah, these little things. See, I can minimize these. Okay, minimize. All right, well, two sub shaders. That's significant. Uh, generally speaking, that means that um, uh, you might write a shader that will work on an iPhone but not on an Android, or work on a Mac but not a PC, etc. So we're just going to need whatever we do to one, we want to do to the other. And what we're going to do to this shader is actually the same thing, really, as what we did to our our beautiful, our beautiful couple of lines of code stencil filter. In fact, if we're feeling super, super lazy, we don't really want to drill in, drill in exactly how it's working. When we can just copy and paste it. Like, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna save everyone a little bit of time. Okay, so into our into our specular setup filter, we can uh, copy paste, copy paste our our stencil test uh, property, and we're just gonna rename this uh, and put this in our custom. Custom shader folder as well. Uh, we'll call it custom slash uh, specular uh, stencil filter. Beautiful. Okay, and so now that we've added our added our stencil filter variable uh, property, I should call it, and we're gonna then put it in our in our first sub shader. Okay, so we're just gonna create a stencil. Again, we could copy paste, but it's good. It's good to redo things, reiterate, remember how it is and why we're entering each, 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 uh, each, each line in. You know, so I'm going to go ref one. Okay, we're referring to the number one, and we're going to say comp. We're comparing. We're going to use whatever stencil test we're given, and by default, it's going to be not equal. So as long as it's not equal to one, 
then it will it will render. Okay, and so yeah, so uh, I'm just going to copy that. <laughs> I'm just going to copy it, paste it into our second subshader because it, yeah, it's it's all sub subshader specific stuff. All right, and there's only one more thing I got to do. I don't want it to fall back. I want to really know if it's not working. So if it's not working, then it's just going to come up pink or whatever. You know, so I won't have a fallback. And also, I'm going to turn off the custom editor. That's a Unity's way of making everything look really good, but it'll hide our custom properties. All right, and so, yeah, so that's that's our specular done. Now with the stencil, uh, the what is it? The uh, the standard shader. We're going to do exactly the same thing. I know, like you probably like a, a any programmer is like just cringing, being like, no, what? You're gonna you're gonna write the same thing again? It's like asking for errors. Unfortunately, I've not yet seen a way that you're able to have like a use pass or like use the same shader code if you have custom properties. Um, I'm I'm not sure how to do that. So we will need to just do each of those each of those steps that we've gone through on the first one. Uh, do them on the second one as well. So and and yeah, and you'll notice that it's actually got a very similar uh, architecture. It's got two sub shaders that we're gonna we're gonna paste in our our stencil uh, into each of them. Where is that? That's the first sub shader. Hide that. Open up the second sub shader. Paste in our stencil. And the final thing that we're gonna do, and I will write it in because it's really good to write it in. Uh, and I'm gonna write in yeah, write in our property enum. And it, what is it? Uh, equal. Here, that's the number three. Not equal is the number six. Make sure we put a space there, and then go uh, stencil, stencil. Uh, what do I call it? Stencil filter? Was it? Stencil test. Okay. And yeah, then we're gonna make sure we call it uh, stencil test, and it's a type of int, and by default it'll be the number six, which is not equal. And that's all we got to do. All we got to do to our materials. Um, yeah. Okay. So now we can jump back into our into our park, into our park materials. We've got two options. We could leave it as it is, or we could, uh, you know, and, and and create new materials, which we will do because that's the that's a nice way of doing it. Leave leave this how it is, and then we're going to actually. No. The reason why I won't do that is because everything's already assigned. Everything's already assigned to each of these little. Each of these little, uh, each of these little objects. So I'm going to use the material they've given us. I'm just going to change the uh, the, the shader to specular specular stencil filter. Um, yep, for for our world. And yep, that's looking good. Nothing changed, which is exactly what we wanted. And now the, I'll do the same with our lunum, our lunum shader uh, material. And that'll be the. Oh, you know what? I haven't I haven't renamed the the standard one, the standard stencil filter, shader. Okay, custom. This is the, I always forget this step. Standard stencil filter. And now, when I open up the aluminum shader, I go to custom standard stencil filter. Beautiful. And nothing changes again. It's exactly what we want. And now we scroll down to the bottom. We got our stencil test, which we change that. Oh, where'd all the lights go? And we go to our our park material, and we change that, and oh, the whole thing goes. So in the next video, we'll we'll re-import that portal and get it all functioning.